Counter-Strike Global Offensive does not start on your computer. You press the play button in Steam, it changes for a stop button for a couple seconds, and then changes back to play. The game does not launch. In this tutorial I will show you two solutions. The first will be a general one for broader public, and the second one will be a specific one. Before we begin, I assume that you have already done all the dumb solutions that are circulating on the internet and copy and paste it again and again and again and again all over the places where you normally ask for help. So my video will be the last resort for those who have already done all the standard solutions, that being reverting the GPU drivers, removing them with DDU uninstaller and installing fresh drivers, installing and uninstalling Windows updates, validating local game cache, reinstalling and redownloading Counter-Strike, redownloading and reinstalling Steam, going in and out of Steam and Counter-Strike beta, launching Steam in offline mode running Steam and game as administrator and using various compatibility settings, reinstalling and repairing DirectX, setting specific resolutions for game to run, and also those very simple solutions like restarting your PC, unplugging your router from the wall socket and plugging it back, checking your internet connection, and disabling fastboot in Windows settings. And in some cases, the issue persists even if you delete your Windows completely and perform a fresh Windows install from a USB drive. So if all of that failed, I will show you two more solutions that will probably help you. So the first one is the general one. As this particular example of this problem occurred on Windows 11 and Windows 11 being the latest Windows version at the time of making this video, I will be showing Windows 11. But the solution will be similar for all Windows versions prior to 11, that is Windows 10, Windows 8, and Windows 7. Windows being a very bad operating system has a lot of very strange services and inbuilt utilities that do little good, but if they fail, they make a lot of harm. One of those is called Windows Management Instrumentation. No one really knows what it does, so you may either disable that from the services of Windows, this should repair CSGO, but may lead to other problems. So instead of that, we will just reset this service. So you have to open the command prompt with administrative privileges. If there is a USC prompt, click yes. And in this elevated command prompt, you have to run three commands. The first one is winmigment salvage repository, then verify repository, and finally reset repository. After that, reboot your PC, and Counter-Strike should now launch. If that doesn't happen, probably you have a specific problem with specific hardware. And I think the solution I'm going to tell you about not only works in all Windows versions, it should also fix the problem in Linux since Linux has a working Counter-Strike Go version. So to implement this solution, before you click the play button with your mouse, disconnect your keyboard from USB port. If in this scenario the game launches, that means you have a very specific keyboard. In this case, this is a mechanical gaming keyboard N Pro 2. And the problem with this keyboard and CSGO is that this particular model has an inbuilt joystick emulation or gamepad emulation. And CSGO doesn't play nicely with this one. But there is a fix. You have to go to the CSGO launch settings and add a minus no joy setting to your launch settings. This disables any joy in the game, so you cannot enjoy CSGO anymore. Just kidding. This command disables joystick support. And having that as a launch option eliminates the problem. Now you can start CSGO without disconnecting your keyboard. If you don't have this particular keyboard, but still have some joysticks, gamepads, or any other input devices attached to your system, and experience this particular problem with CSGO not launching, try disconnecting them and clicking play again. This should help.
I am the god of YouTube. Like, subscribe, thanks, jingle bells.